Hey people, I'm fixing to blow your mind again. I learned a lot. This uh, archometer was a lot of help. It has uh, six different symbols on it. And it shows the uh, what we call Hebrew block style. It calls it uh, an Aryan alphabet. So this first line in the, in the Hebrew Bible, it says, Barasit bara Elohim. And that Barasit is the word right on the wall. And the reason that boat looks so funny, doesn't like it would float like that, is because it's trying to represent the letter B. And that's Ra sitting up in the middle, and that's Set on the front, stabbing the chaos. This be the first two lines of the Bible, Barasit, Bara. So I've been over these first two lines in the Hebrew and the Greek on the past couple of videos. So we're going to go to line 3, 4, and 5, and that's the Hebrew on the left and the Greek on the right. So the first two lines was instructions how to use the book, and then number 3 here goes to work. And you can see on the Hebrew side that in the light green by the 3 it starts. It says to make the knowledge from to begin, and then the Alahim, the knowledge, and that... Uh, that's a yod he yod there and I've recently learned that every time you have a letter between two yods it's actually a number and what that says is to, to make the knowledge from to begin to learn to bind the works from the five or the or is the direction and the five of the or, the five, the fifth of the direction. So in Egypt, Ra is always the captain of the ship. And if he's not on the boat, you'll always see Ra's head on the or. Because, because that is the or, that's the direction. And there was five directions. So on the Greek side, other side there in the light green, it says key. And they give... The, the word key they replaced every time there was a vav in the Hebrew they put the word key there so you can either make that connected or and but it says connect the work of the pen there in the light green so to make the knowledge from to begin is to make the works of the pen first get your pencil out like old General Thoughto over there is the king of the pen he wrote everything and first you gotta make a plan, you gotta write it down. Make the work of the pen to see the Theos, the collected life hieroglyph. That OS means a drawing that you're looking at. It's the collected life. You're looking at that whole picture. It's all one big collected life hieroglyph, the God. And then general thought. Then uh and then you see that word meaning uh Meaning, or on this side, or direction is phos. And that's uh, the cough, or the phi. And, uh, and it usually means to come after. And then the, the omega is the end, and the s to consume. But uh, this, this fifth direction in uh, China is called the Meijong. And it means the fifth direction. It means here. It means you have to know where you're at to know where you're going. And so uh, ancient history, uh, 2,000 years ago, they say Ireland was split up into fifths. But there's, there's only four parts of Ireland. So Ireland, along with several other seafaring peoples, uh, they seen the, the five directions. And they, they also had the Meijong with the, with the same symbol that looks like the, the cough or the phi. So all other directions are relative to the center. The, uh, the axis mundi, the cosmic axis. And, uh, so, so everybody's Meijong is, is the center of you inside. So on the Hebrew side, line four, it says to make the first knowledge. 
to learn the binds from, to learn the writings of the direction, and then in the white, to give the works of thub, to give the works of center, and then the green, to make bottle, and to learn the binds from, and the next line down there in the orange, bin, in the work cycles of the direction, and in the work cycles of the shades or the colors. So on the Greek side in the white there it says connect Eden like the Garden of Eden connect the work through the seed like like the garden the works through the seeds to see the Theos the collected life hieroglyphs and then that two it, it reads it reads better backwards to see the writings instead of the writings to see and I'm to show you the reason why this all reads like pig Latin. To see the writings of, of Phos, of, of the middle end to consume. That, uh, that uh, cough is, or the mehong, meaning the middle or the center end. You got a left end, a right end, top end, a bottom end, and a center end. To see the seal works of the Kalan, to, to give the knowledge to bind the light. And uh, the light had to do with the, the color charts because it was mostly about the dyes. To connect the dye exo horizon in the light green there. That kind of looks like direction with the X in the wrong place. And uh, like I said, I'm going to show you why this reads like pig Latin in a little bit here. To see the Theos, the collected life hieroglyph, Anna, second line down there in orange, Anna. To learn the cycles, knowledge, me son, from the sun. The writings to see connected of the photos, uh, the center and writings of the hieroglyphs to connect the knowledge of the cycles to learn from the sun of the writings to see the scotos the scot is uh, the shades the, the scots the colors to see the connected fires to see the stars or to see the the constellations or the connected fires then the next line in the hebrew down there in the in the dark blue square to make come after the first knowledge, to make the second knowledge, to learn the binds from, to bind the direction, to make connect from, and to bind the shades, to come after the first knowledge, next line down our dark blue, to come after the further second knowledge of the lily. So you have to have many different knowledges to read this. A lot of people will say, well, Lily, that's a six-petaled flower. But the people that really know, know that the, uh, there's only three petals on a lily. And the other three are look-alikes. So back to the start of five, it says, to make the second knowledge, learn from the bind of the direction to give the color of the second knowledge of the lily. We'll have to look up lily to see exactly what that means. And connect the five to see first in, the O-R-B, the orb, to see first in, and the five in to come after the first, in the barker, to make connect from Ashad. And, and Ashad was the ancient sun god to many, most ancient peoples. So the five on the Greek side, it says connect the callison. The callus, and that was uh, that's a word that that was used for people that lived by the sea, and that's because the people that lived by the sea made a living by pulling nets, and they had calluses all over the hands. You still call a, a man that works hard for a living callus, and that's where this word come from. Connect the callus, and, and you see in the pictures in Egypt that'll be the ones with the rope towing the boat. Towing the float through the parade, the callus, to see the collected life hieroglyphs, 
to see the writings of the Mei Zhong and to consume, the middle end to consume from or to divide from the first knowledge of the cycles, the divided Moran, the marine, the, the marine waters, to give, to see the writings of the colors of the callus and of the, that's the second knowledge is, is uh, having to work, having to put a callus on your hand of the nukta. And, uh, and that's what was given the meaning night on both sides. Lily and Nukta has been given the meaning night. To connect the genetto of the Spira and the genetto of the Piro. To divide from the first knowledge of Mia. At first I thought this uh, Piro and Spear was uh, this image here of, uh, of Moses, Pharaoh Moses. But I got to thinking about the other side and it says the orb and, and the bakar. I realized that that orb to see first in is to see in the first shape, the sphere. So the knowledge connected first is the direction. And to make the first knowledge you get the color from knowing the direction and to make come after the first knowledge is the shape to learn from the color so these last two words given the meaning of day one is uh is to make connect from the knowledge to divide through the shod or uh on the greek side it's to divide from the first knowledge from to make the knowledge and, uh, and what it means is this first knowledge is the knowledge of the shape, the color, and the direction. So if you watched last week's movie, you know the first line of the Bible sent me here to the Arch of Titus. And I was researching that, and that sent me to the book of Peter. And it wasn't long. The book of Peter sent me here to the book of Titus. This is the best place to start. Uh, you can see that uh, the Paul and the servant and the apostle all end with this OS. You know, and it's not man, that's that's hieroglyph. So this Paul would mean to pull the second to pull the second meanings out of out of the hieroglyphs. They all have several meanings. And uh, so it means the, the P to to open the knowledge connected to bind of the hieroglyph of the doulos, the, the two. Uh, every redneck know that doulis has got two wheels, got two sets of wheels on the back. To through to see the connected bind of the hieroglyph of the theo, of the collected life to see connected. The the God to, to pick, the uh the, the constellation of pick, the, the God, the knowledge of the, uh, the postellos. That's the knowledge of the postal, the postals, the, uh, the, the toll is a, a tax on post, tax on writings. The post was, was the arch. The arch at first was just the columns. It became the arch later after the, the mud floods had buried the columns and they had to put the writings up on top of the arch then. But in Egypt, the, the arch meant the knowledge of the royal plants and, and that was just in the columns. You can see this hieroglyph that looks like a postage stamp. That's the, the hieroglyph meaning Hathor. And they always add that H every time it starts with an A or an O or a U. So the H isn't part of the writing. It's just the, the A, the knowledge collected to see first. So to pull the second meanings of the postal hieroglyphs through the works divided under, the Jesus, the works divided under. That was all the writings from the foot down. It, uh, and when you, when you look at fire, it's always connected to what's under the, the sou the fires to see connected always connected under the waters to see connected the water's always pouring down the water comes from from above the fire comes from underneath 
the works divided under the Christo, the, the plants to restore. Everything that was destroyed from the foot down, all your New Testament, that was to restore restore the, the Christo, the, the restore the plants back to the Bible. The Christo, the, the plants first to make consume, the writings to see connected the kata, to give the data, to give the knowledge of the writings to learn, to give data, of the piston. That's, that's pretty much the same as a piston today. The pie stain of the collection to, to see the collected light. This was often called the pea stain chart with colors of pea I hope nobody will ever have. And it was mainly a color wheel with... Uh, with writings on it so you can match the color, the note, the times. Had much information on there when you knew how to read it. That's where we got our word, a pie chart. To open the works, to consume the seal works of the cycles. If it was a, a piston, a motor piston, it would be, it would be to, to open the works, to consume the seal, to make cycle. Piston uh, makes the seal to to make cycle the collection to fold the bind of life to give the the tone to give the color of the theo to give the data of the pie stain of the collection to see the god to see connected and connect the pigno sign or the the picture of the ignosin the igno the the ignorant of sin has not eaten from the tree of knowledge, is ignorant, has, has no sin, has no stain. The white, the white Alpheus. Alpheus is an ancient word used in Greek meaning marshmallow, the marshmallow root. To connect the white marshmallow from Solomon's seals, from the for the, the THS, the writings divided to consume. These are uh, these were all picture seals that weren't on the wall. They were different places in books. I guess some of them possibly on the wall, but you had to find them. They were most likely on the floors where all the floors were ripped up. The the Pisces, or the Jesus floors, and the the seal of the Cat Woman, the. Uh, the, the cat to give the writings of the woman the the Subian the the Sebian uh, Sebian meant woman in in Greece uh, in Rome there was no women in Rome they went to the to rape the Sebians of all their women so if you saw a woman in Rome she was a Sebian the the, the seal of the cat woman. So this first line is teaching us how to pull out the dual meanings of the hieroglyphs. And then line two on Titus here. The pictures of the, the El Pity. And you see that D is surrounded by eyes. That means that's a four. It's not a pity. It's an Elp four. The bind to open the four of the Zoist, the tools of the end wall to consume. And then the uh, the anion they give this the same meaning as is the word on the bottom that's that's clearly onion the knowledge to make the onion but this is a little bit different on the end it's got a different o and uh and a u on the end of it to make c connected the the to connect the the cycles to make c the connection of the divided seed the hen or the, the egg of the piggy lato, the the pig Latin. That's why uh, that's why the the words uh, seem mixed up and they read better if you put the the last letters in front when you read it, like pig Latin, where you you skip the first letter and uh, and speak the rest of it and then add the first letter with a with a vowel, uh, as in. Uh, is in ig pie is for pig the pig lato to 
to see, oh, to see the pseudonym, the knowledge of the pseudies, the pseudonym, the, the alias name, to the theos, to collect the, the alias name of the collected life hieroglyph, to open the first to see, pro, to open first to see the chronon, of the knowledge to make of the onion, the, the layers, the layers of the meanings inside the hieroglyphs, the chronon, the plants first to see the cycles or the, 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 the seed of the end cycle to learn the works of the onion, the layers. So this word pig Latin, it's got the double G's up there. And, uh, and same as angel is not, it doesn't have an N in it. It's got double G's. They, they put the N in there, but the double G's are a code and it's, it goes to the Adam code in the book of Amos. And it means the answer, the knowledge of the cycles to consume the beginning, the, the answers, the, the, the pig, the pictures divide of the answer of the works of the Lato. So this O-N to see the cycles meaning light that means the light that goes off in your head when you understand when you when you understand the cycle and the other O-N is the N cycle the Omega N. So this Theos is the collected life hieroglyph and that's in the yellow circle or or in the big black spot there. It's uh, it's all the writings, the collected life. And the little postage stamp up in the corner there. That's your pseudonym. That's your pseudi. The pseudonym of the gods. To open first to see the crown and cycle. To learn the works of the layers. So you can see all these postal workers here. You see a little white circle. That's the that's that seal for Hathor up there, and uh, and they're weighing up to see if you put any heart in your writings. And and half of them, like the American flag up there, got stripes. It's like uh, they've already been stamped post, and uh, the other half are are blank, like it's the secret writings that haven't been posted. All right, I'm going to end this here. Good day, folks. God is knowledge.